Alright, so welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be taking a look at how you can disassemble and reassemble a weapon in CS2. So if you want to achieve something like this, make sure to stay tuned. But before we get started, please make sure to like and subscribe. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is obviously import our OBJ file. For this tutorial we will be using the USB. So in order to actually disassemble any part of your weapon, what you want to do is come over to edit mode, which you can find in the top left here. Or you can also hit tab and you switch between object mode and edit mode. Then what you want to do is make sure you have the face select mode uh, enabled. So over here you want to click on this. So then what you want to do is hover over the part that you want to disassemble. So in our case we will disassemble the silencer. So to do this what we want to do is we want to hit L when hovering over the part we want to actually get. So in our case the silencer. So what we want to do is just hit L on every single part of the silencer. So for instance, also these little spots over here, we want to make sure we have selected everything. So this can be quite tedious with the CS2 models because they have reworked it. So for example, this here, you want to make sure we also select this because this won't be selected if we forget about it. And then also that. So this way, we want to just double check once again if we have everything covered for the silencer. Alright, so I'm happy with the silencer. Then what we want to do is we want to hit P and then we group or separate by selection. Then what we want to do is come back to object mode. We select the silencer, we hit G to move it and then Y to move it along the Y axis. So we can just move that away from the gun for a second. So then what we want to do is maybe select the trigger of the USB. So we come back to edit mode and we just do the same as we did before. But as you can see, we need to make sure we have selected the actual USB instead of the silencer because otherwise it won't work. So that's my mistake. We want to hit the silencer and then do it. So again, just hover over the part, hit L. And we want to make sure we select everything, especially in here it gets a lot of parts separated. So we want to make sure we select everything. Then over here for this knob you want to make sure you select the back as well because as you can see that was not selected yet. And then the same goes for this side. So then we can see that we have everything from the trigger. So then again what we want to do is hit P and then selection. We want to go back to object mode, G to move it and Y to move it along the Y axis. Alright so as we can see now there's actually a floating piece around here that belongs to the silencer. So what we want to do is come into edit mode again and we actually want to have the USB selected because it is part of that. And then we actually just want to group this single piece. So what we want to do is make sure this piece is all selected and then we just actually separate it. So hit P and then selection and then just remember that it is 003 and we know our silencer is 1. So in order to actually combine this, what we want to do is make sure that our USB is in its original position. So the way we do that is hit every single individual part and hit Alt-G. This way it will move to its original location. So we hit Alt-G, we hit Alt-G. And as you can see, it is now assembled again. So because we know that 1 and 3 of our selection here is the silencer part. We want to control click on all the parts that well were separated or wrong. So once we have that we want to right click and we want to click on join. So this way that missing piece is now gone and it is part of the silencer. Alright so a quick recap since this was quite a short video but it's also not really a lot to talk about. In order to actually get it back to its original position it's Alt G to move it back. And in order to actually select multiple parts, we want to be, make sure we are in edit mode and we hover over it and hit L. And then just select everything and then hit P to group by selection or separate by selection. So once we are happy with that, what we can do is actually just add individual materials to this. So say we want to add a material to the trigger, we can do that and we can just add a color and that way it is only for the trigger. So if we do the silencer and we add another color right here, then we can just see that it only adds the color to the part we have selected. So this way you can add multiple textures or multiple 
um, paintings onto different parts of your weapon. All right, so if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. And if you have any problems or running into something that's not right, you can always leave a comment and I will answer it as fast as I can. So thanks again for watching and bye bye.